As for the definition, an operating system is a software platform that provides facilities for programs to be run which are of benefit to a user. In the 1960s, the likely arrangement for, a, for using a computer would be something like this. Enter machine room with deck of punch cards and uh, punch paper tape reel. Then switch on the computer, put the deck of cards into the card reader and press button. Put paper tape into tape reader and press button. Press button to run the program entered into the memory from the punch card using the data entered into the memory from the paper tape. Press button to get output printed on the line printer. Switch off uh, the computer. Leave the machine room with deck of cards, paper tapes and line printer output. Uh, the user um, control the computer hardware by pressing buttons. Just try to imagine how many uh, buttons uh, would be needed if you had to control a computer in the same way today. The missing component uh, from the 1960s computer was of course an operating system. In other words, some software to control the hardware and uh, interact with uh, application software. Application software are those which we use to um, make use of our computers like games or Microsoft Office, etc. An operating system is an example of type of software called system software. This distinguishes it from application software which is created to perform a specific task for a computer user rather than just helping to run the system. Uh, there are certain uh, operating system activities that we need to remember for examination. Operating systems are extremely complex and it is not possible to give a full description uh, in this lecture of what an operating system is. However, what an operating system generally does is to provide an environment where the programs can run that are of benefit to a user, as I said earlier. The activities of an operating system can be subdivided into different categories, some of which overlap with each other sometimes. We are going to look uh, at each of the various tasks carried out uh, by the operating system. Uh, first of all, it is uh, interface. Uh, user system interface or program and hardware interface. A user interface is needed to allow uh, the user to get the software and hardware to do something useful. An operating system should, uh, should uh, provide at least uh, a command line interface like one over here and graphical user interface one over there. So programmers write software and uh, user run this software. The software uses the hardware. The operating system has to ensure that the hardware does what the software wants it to do. Program development tools associated with the programming languages allow a programmer to write a program without needing to know the details of the hardware, particularly the processor which actually works. Uh, the operating system then has to provide the mechanism for running the developed program. Resource management. When a program has to uh, start to run, it is described as a process. When a program has started to run, it is described as a process. So a program which is being executed is a process. In the modern computer systems, a process will not be able to run to complete without interruptions. At any time, there will be many processes running together each process uh, needs access to the resources provided by the computer system. The resource management uh, provided by the operating system aims to achieve the best possible efficiency in computer system use. The two most important aspects of this are scheduling 
of a process. Scheduling means making best use of the microprocessor's time and resolution of conflicts when two processes require the same resource means when more than one processes are using the um, same RAM they are actually wanting to use the same um, hard disk and same printer etc. Then we have uh, memory management um, uh, after process management we have uh, memory management. There are three important uh, aspects of memory management. Memory protection ensures uh, that one program does not try to use the same memory location as another program. If you do remember that famous uh, blue screen of death that actually shows up because of the same reason when two programs try to uh, access the same memory. Uh, the second aspect is uh, the memory organization scheme is chosen to achieve the best use of the limited memory size of the computer. For example, uh, you might have heard of the virtual memory, paging or segmentation. These are the topics of uh, A2 anyway. Third uh, aspect is memory usage optimization involves decision about which process should be in the main memory at any given time and where they are stored in the main memory. These are few of the memory management things. Uh, then it comes uh, to device management. Every computer system has a variety of components that are categorized as devices like mouse, monitor, keyboard, printer, webcam, etc. The management of these requires installation of appropriate uh, device driver software uh, control of uh, usage by the processes. Then we have uh, file management. Three major features uh, for the file management uh, are file naming conventions. Uh, sometimes you might have typed the name of the file and system says that it is not allowed to use such characters and all. Then we have uh, directory or folder structures. You always create folders when saving the files and access control mechanism. Not every person can use the file if it is over a network. Security management. Operating system uh, actually have many aspects regarding the security. We all know about it. For example, provision of uh, recovery of the data when the data is lost, prevention of intrusion, uh, and ensuring uh, about the data privacy. So security management should be there. Uh, it can be managed through username and passwords and uh, encryption, etc. Then we have uh, error detection and uh, recovery. Errors can uh, arise in the execution of program either because it was uh, badly written or because it has been supplied with inappropriate data like in validations. Other errors are associated with the devices not working correctly. Whatever the cause of an error, the operating system should have the capability to interrupt a running process and provide error diagnostics wherever it is appropriate. In uh, extreme cases, the operating system needs to be able to shut down the system in an organized fashion without loss of the data. So it was uh, the introduction of uh, operating system and its uh, related uh, interface and resource management thing. Uh, we might have uh, one question regarding this. Um, it is useful to describe the management task carried out by an operating system as being primarily one of the following types. Those assisting the user of the system, those concerned with the running of the system. So the question is considering the management tasks that have been uh, categorized, uh, can you identify them as belonging to one or other of the uh, types which I have mentioned over here? Are there any problems in doing this? Then you may mull over it or you may ask. So. Um, to find few of the works that you do perform with the operating system and categorize them as per these categories given over here. 
and then you may discuss uh, your answers if you have any problem in your respective groups or in your postings uh, under this video. Thank you.